Chapter 1 You are listening at FameTV.info It's sunny these two days. Dr. Fu has spread his herbs on the bamboo dustpan and dried them in the sun. He is old and has no descendants. Recently, he has been unable to do what he can. It's time to find someone to pass on his medical skills. The child Ronyue is quite intelligent and wants to do his own. Grandfather Fu, Grandfather Fu, come and save people a young girl who seems to be in the infancy of cardamom is running here in a hurry. She divides her hair into two big strands and combs them into a symmetrical bun. The tail of her hair hangs on both sides of her cheek. It's the most popular double flat hairpin among young girls who haven't been out of the cabinet recently. The two strands of her hair swing around her chest, and she is wearing a peach pink skirt. It looks elegant and playful but the girl looked very anxious. She was about to take Dr. Fu out of the house. Dr. Fu's eyes glared. Ron Yue, wait a minute. You're very impatient. I'll take the medicine box. Hey, hey. The girl Ming Ron Yue laughs twice, but she also quiets down and waits for Dr. Fu to pack up. As he tidied up, Dr. Fu said, look at you. You're almost hairpin. What's your style? Be careful that no one wants you to be a girl. I don't think you can cry. Ming Rongyue just smiles and doesn't make a sound. There is no serious male and female defense in Dongyun country. Women can also do business on the street. Even some bold women will show their love to their beloved men. She feels that she is only careless occasionally, which is not as exaggerated as Grandfather Fu said, Ning Rongyue shakes the arm of Dr. Fu, who has packed up her things, and says, if you can't get married, you won't get married. I'll stay in the village with my grandfather all the time. You little girl, you are becoming more and more disrespectful. Fu Fu scolded Ning Rongyue with a smile. After she picked up the medicine box, she felt warm in her heart, but she didn't say much. She bent slightly and followed Ning Rongyue who deliberately slowed down, they walked to the entrance of the village together. From a distance, they could see a circle of people around the big banyan tree at the entrance of the village. At the same time, the village head also came in a hurry. The village head was a moderate middle. Aged man. After three people said hello, they went to the big banyan tree together. Let's let Dr. Fu go and have a look first. The head of the village asked the people around to get out of the way. When the villagers saw that it was Dr. Fu, they all respectfully let the three people walk to the middle, only a few people can hold hands, and then can hold the thick banyan tree, leaning against a soaked stranger who is in a coma, the village head frowned, this is not their Fujia village people, look at this man's face is strong, handsome, clothes are not ordinary people wear, how can they appear here? Dr. Fu didn't pay attention to anything else. First he squatted down and gave the man a pulse. Then he opened the man's eyelids. The man was wet and his lips were white. He had been soaking in water for a long time. Dr. Fu saw that there was a big hole in the man's head, but there was no big wound on his body. Instead, there were only a few old scars, it must have been the impact on the head that caused the man's coma, Dr. Fu bandaged the wound on the man's head, then simply wiped the medicine on his body, which seemed to have been dragged on the ground. He stood up and said, the wound has been dealt with. Rong Yue, you should pulse for the man before. What do you think? He hurt his head. It's easy to say everything else. I'm afraid there's something wrong with his brain. Ning Rong Yue is a little disappointed, looking at a very powerful person, don't be fooled Dr. Fu rubbed his beard and pondered. When the village head saw that Dr. Fu had dealt with the man's wound, he looked around the villagers and asked, who brought this man to you? But the villagers are also at a loss, no one can say why. I know, it's her. A little boy yelled, pointed to Ning Rongyue and said. No father, no mother, and dragged a big man back. I'm not ashamed. A woman beside the child awkwardly tugged at the child and scolded. Stinky boy, what are you talking about? 
Then the woman said to the frowning village head and Dr. Fu, Don't blame me, little boy. I'll teach him a lesson when I get home. Dead son of a bitch the village head is discontented, but he can't say anything. Although he has his own people and no one can bully Romua, it's inevitable that someone will say something sour behind her back. He just pities Romua, the only daughter left by his brother. He must protect her. The village head says. Children don't know, don't you know what a mother is? You should apologize to Romua. The woman's face was a little hard to hang, and she hit the boy hard. You little son of a bitch, apologize to your sister Romua, and see what you said. The boy was stunned by her several times. After a moment of stupefaction, he burst into tears, and cried out. I don't apologize, I don't apologize. That's what you said first, woo woo. This next side of the man also can't listen, grabbed the boy from the woman's hand, low roar. You go home with me. Then some shamed dare not look at Ning Rongyue. Rongyue, it's your aunt Nyo and Xiaohu who are not right. I apologize for them, alas. After that, she took the woman to the village, and the woman did not dare to speak again. Uncle Nyo, Tiger is still small. I don't care. Don't be too angry. Ning Rongyue can't see anything on her face. Her mother died in childbirth when she was just born, and her father died when she was five years old. So Ning Rongyue grew up eating a hundred family meals. Her father was a stranger from Fujia village, but he was a teacher in the village. The villagers respected him very much, so the villagers took care of him after he died. She also knew that Uncle Nyo was really good to her, so she would not care how many times she had heard it. Dot on the other hand, Fu Fu's goatee curled up and said angrily, Do you people always chew your tongue behind your back? Mr. Ning is kind to our village. How does Rongyue get in the way of you? Is that how you treat Mr. Ning's daughter? Dr. Fu's words directly scolded a large number of people. Some women secretly lowered their heads when they heard the words. Ning Rongyue really didn't get in their way. It's just that rural women can't help but chew their tongue in their spare time. What's more, even if Mr. Ning died, the village had regarded Ning Rongyue as his own daughter. They can't help saying sour things. At this meeting, Dr. Fu made it clear that everyone's face was not good. Looking. When those men who really thought of Mr. Ning looked like this, they knew that behind their wives, there were no less gossips and they were all angry with each other. They took people away one after another. Only after a while, there were few people under the banyan tree. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.